All right, what's your name? Uh, Amber Ashby. Amber, how old are you? I am 42. Where are you from originally? Uh, my dad was in the Air Force, so I guess I'm from here because I've been here since 96. But um, I've been to Idaho, California, Virginia, and England and Germany. So, but I've been here for the longest. So, I guess I'm from here now. <laughs> Are you homeless? Yeah, kind of like in and out of being homeless. Like, occasionally I stay with my husband's uh, mom. We have a trailer over there on her property. Yeah. And uh, she lets us stay there. And when she gets mad at us, she kicks us out. <laughs> So, back and forth, back and forth a lot. Oh, you out um, on the streets right now? Um, so yeah. You have all your stuff over there. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to get up to Payson, actually. Um, there's a treatment center we're trying to go to up there. So, we've been, we had him actually coming out to pick us up yesterday, and we weren't sure which vehicle to look for, because they never said, like, what car to look for. Yeah. So, we got to call him back up today and figure that out. So... So you're on your way over there? Yeah, yeah. That's good, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited, so. So what do you do out here to survive? Yeah, I think I'm trying not to get too cold out here in the freezing cold. It's cold at night, really cold. So last night I had on like 10 layers of clothes, <laughs> like four pairs of pants, and uh, I had my shirt on, then I had like four jackets on and then like a big huge jacket on on top of that like humongous jacket uh, yeah and then when it now and now that it's warm now you gotta peel those layers off because it gets hot now so yeah it gets hot during the day and it gets cold at night <laughs> yeah yeah and it's freezing at night really cold and i don't like the cold at all so <laughs> so what do you do do you panhandle um yeah Panhandle, mostly, yeah. Like, you know, you just find jobs to do. Like, there's a lady, a lady that I know that's supposed to be clean her house. Yeah. And, uh, she has a, she has family too that she, like, refers me to. And so, like, I'll go and I'll, I'll clean, like, her, you know, family's house too and make some money that way. That's good. Yeah. How much do you make when you panhandle? Um, actually, uh, me and my husband went over to the Prize grocery store on 51st and, um, what was it, I want to say Indian School, I can't remember where it was, 51st and something the other day, and I went inside the Prize to sell a phone that we had found, we just found this um, iPhone sitting at the bus stop and there's nobody else around. So we, we kept it and it was locked and we took it over to the that eco ATM yeah. and they gave us like 90 bucks for it. And while I was inside the store doing that, because you have to have ID and everything to do it. Yeah. So we had a friend that had an ID um, and he was in the store with me and my, my husband was outside out front watching his dog for him. He had the dog inside a shopping cart and it was a, uh, really cute pit bull that's like his dog's like 15 years old he's really old and he had like a little sweater on and, and my husband's just standing there um feeding the dog and like some lady came over up to us and like gave him a 100 bucks and uh he wasn't, he wasn't even standing there with no sign or anything he was just standing there you know with the dog and she was real nice and she says you know i want to help you guys out and it was nice because we went and got a hotel room and got to you know we got to get out of the cold for for one night. It was really nice. Yeah, was cool. yeah it was really cool. How often does that happen? Mm, not too often. Too often. We've never had that happen before. So, usually it's like, you know, they give you food or, you know, give you five bucks or something. Yeah. Not a hundred dollars. So that was nice. That was really cool. So. Do you have any family out here in Phoenix? Um, yeah, I have an uncle out here. I have a sister out here. Um, most of my family is down in Tucson, and then my dad is, uh, he works over at Edwards Air Force Base. 
So he flies, you know, back and forth from California to Tucson a couple times a month to the houses in Tucson. So and my stepmom, she lives in Tucson, so he goes out there to see her and and then uh, goes back to work over at Edwards Air Force Base. So most of my family's down there. Uh, what about kids? Do you have any kids? I do. And you said you were recently pregnant? Yeah. You I just had, had a kid? About a year ago, I had a baby, yeah. Okay. It's, it's coming up, yeah, because she's a year old now. So um, me and my husband had a baby, and she, he, his mom takes care of her. So until we can, like... She's with grandma? Yeah. So we can, like, you know, get her shit together and get off the street. Yeah. Unless she has her. So... But um, besides that, though, before I, I was married for 10 years, my ex-husband, though, and I had um, uh, four girls and one boy with my ex-husband. But um, and he has, he has uh, our kids are a little bit older, though, now. Like my son's 18, and um, my four girls, they range in age from, like, first grade all the way up to... Uh, uh, like 13. Yeah. Um, so how's your oldest doing? Is he doing good? He's doing really good, yeah. He's really good. He's, he, uh, he's, um, wanting to be a, uh, what was it? I think he wanted to be like a, um, I think he came out here to Phoenix because he wanted to get into being like either a sheriff or like, not a sheriff, but a, um, Highway Patrol or something like that. I can't remember what it was he said. So, yeah, he's doing good though. That's cool. Yeah. So, what, what are you gonna do right now? So you needed a bus pass? Yeah, trying to, I let somebody use my, my uh, food card last night and they went inside the store and then I went over to QT while they were in the store and they were taking a while. And when I came back out, you know, I couldn't find them anywhere, and I don't know where they went, so I gotta go get a new, a new food card. <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to do today. EBT? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Do yeah. they charge you every time you get a new card? They do. They charge you like five bucks. Yeah. They just take it off your... Even if you're yeah. indigent? Or you're homeless in the street? If you have no money on your food card, because you know how you get money every month on the food card, okay. if you don't have anything on it, then they will... They won't give it also, to you. they'll take from the cash aid that they have. Yeah, to yeah. It has to come out of that money, yeah. Because like, even if you have five bucks to pay it, they won't, I don't think they let you take it. Mm-hmm. It has to come out of that money. Because I remember when I went to go get one one time, um, I had no money on the card, and she told me I had to wait till the first when I got my money to, to get, I had to come back and go get it again. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, man. Thank you for sharing your story. Mm-hmm. I really do appreciate it. Thank Are you, you okay if I post it up on my YouTube channel? Sure. Yeah. And just in case anybody wants to reach out to you with any sort of help or donations, do you have any contact information that you want to share? Uh, it's up to you if you want to put an email out there. It would be uh, Vaughn, V-A-U-G-H-A-N-S, girl, G-I-R-L, and then the number four. And then E V E R at gmail dot com. It's Bonds Girl Forever at gmail dot com. All right. Thank you. Thank you.